So we're moving on to a second tower for Hero Arena. We're going to do the Heroes Tower with the face of Red Chandler. So we have another demon team. This time, like I said, they got Red Chandler instead of Chainsaw Roxy. Another Sins team, Fairies, Unknowns, and Humans. So this time we are going to tackle it with our own demon team. So we've got Ominous Nebula Zeldris. We got Triple Commandment looking Asterosa, Demiurge, and Gelda. So what's going on here? Well, basically, Zeldris' relic is pretty nice here, okay? So every debuff on the enemy is going to increase Demon Allies' basic stats. We're going to start off the match with Demiurge's Blazing Infernos, which is going to be a couple debuffs. So that's going to stack up some stats for everybody here. Esther Rose's Commandment, uh, well, not his Commandment, his um, Darkness stacks. That's going to increase the enemy's damage taken, so that's going to be pretty much a uh, overall damage buff there. And then uh, Gelda is Gelda. It's really strong. That's all there is to it. Gears across the board. HP defense. Demi has to be attack. That's how he works. HP for Gelda. Um, since she doesn't scale off of attack and she doesn't crit, we have Pierce Rate Rolls in her top row. And then um, in order for me to out CC, how to do CC cards is what it is. You know, not a whale. Um, but do what you gotta do. You know, if you have to. That's fine. If you don't have to, run the demon card set. That's going to be better for you. So, that's the setup. Let's jump into it. Alright, first up, like we said, demons. We've got Red Chandler, uh, the unknown demon duo, and then Esta. So, this team we can't exactly one-tap with our triple AoE setup. So, we're going to set ourselves up to be able to encroach Gelda the second turn. So, what we're going to do is pretty much all of our single targets. Should get her down to about half with three... Um, darkness stacks and then when Chandler taunts our AoEs will be in a really good position to be able to pop her and she'll be encroached right so that'll one tap her uh, and then hopefully the triple AoEs take out the rest of the team actually probably not with Chandler taunt so it does have that damage resistance the Esterosa for some reason likes to split his single targets there in half that's uh, a little weird um oh yeah and it's an HP buff. I think that's off the Relic. So now, we're going to Infect, right? Tarmiel is on Chandler. It's not going to affect Gelda at all. Uh, and then we just triple AoE. Well, double AoE with the Infect. Uh, there's the Encroach. Gelda probably kills Gelda. Very nice. And then I'm looking for Demi to pop the two on the right. Can you do it? Very nice. Okay, so we half HP Chandler. Luckily, the stance is not a counter, so he's just hanging out, trying to tell me to stop with that hand. Or his staff, whatever he's pointing at me. His hand. Lucky him, he gets his ult. That's fine, we're just going to single target him. Probably do it with Esta since he's missing some HP. Let him lifesteal. And that's the first team. Pretty easy. Unfortunately, it is not as you know straightforward and a walk in the park as the human team. Not the human team. What did we just do? Fairy team. Yeah, it's the fairy team. But they're cheating, right? Because they have the season buff. The demons don't have that luxury. You have to work for it. Although, I will say, I think for the rest of the tower, we can pretty much one turn, right? Triple AoE, these guys. Sin's team, again, weird that Liz is there. Uh, that was already some fire damage from Zeldris' eight. Look at that. Gelda literally almost wiped the team. A little lag at the end when Demi f finishes them off, which is annoying, but we one tap. And I feel like if we can one tap unknowns, the rest of the tower should be fine. I mean, they're, they're team four. We definitely one tap fairies. I think the only time you're not one tapping fairies is if they have Hellbrum. That's because you can't one tap Hellbrum. But I guess we'll find out right here. So, same setup triple AoE, open with the infect. There shouldn't be any more Tarmiel. But it is that extra debuff for the Zeldris Relic. Look at that. Fitoria's is dead. Or was that Philo? I think that was Philo. I think Fitoria is on the unknown team. Boom. Dead. Great. Moving on. Now it got really simplistic. You had to think about it on the first, first team. Yeah, there is Fitoria. That was Philo. But now it's... Uh, now we can walk on our park. 
This team might be tanky? No Nanashi though. They do have Gamma. And then the uh, blue Merlin. So I'm knocked with a taunt, shouldn't matter. Like I said, triple AoE. Good damage. Look at that. Below half. Surely Demi cleans it up. Very nice. Not a lot of crits on that Futoria, but still enough to kill her off. And the entire team with her. Now last up is going to be humans. And uh, they're definitely not known for being particularly tanky. I guess max stack um, Yuri with her roses could be? Or am I misremembering her ability? Chaos Arthur can be when his chaos is online. Let me double check her. Let me click on her, please. And they do have LR Lilia. Um, GG, 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 alternative damage dealt minus 10% with Rose Shinsu. Yeah. I mean, she's the buffer, right? Passive buffer. Human ally buffs, whatever. Roxy's gonna be squishy. Lilia's probably squishy. Uh, they're all squishy, really. Even Arthur's dying to this. Whole team is wiped. Yeah, pretty much a breeze. Walk in the park. Again, probably really hard if you're going second. So make sure you're picking a tower you can go first on. And that's gonna be the second tower, the challenger bracket, whatever. If you guys like to drop a thumb, maybe so if you're into that. I'll see you in the next one.